Good morning and welcome to this edition of the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. So, technically, this is the last weekend of the year. So a lot of things happen in this weekend. We kind of start reflecting back on what we did, what we didn't do in 2017, and the things that we want to do, we want to accomplish in 2018. Now, I'm not a big supporter of resolutions, so that's not what we're talking about here. But we always like to think about what we're going to accomplish in the new year. So. This morning on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show, as we kind of wrap up 2017, we're going to focus on being healthier in 2018, whatever that means for you. It could mean getting up and moving. It could mean eating better. It could mean walking. It could be cleansing out your mind. Whatever that means, uh, we want you to join in. But we're going to start with looking at, I guess I could say mind, body, and spirit, uh, but we're going to start with the body. And my first guest is Jordan Rhodes. He's a fitness trainer extraordinaire. Welcome to the show. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, you know what? I think we all have this idea that in order to be fit, we have to work out all day, every day, and look like you. Yeah, no. Like, so you do, you don't. Mm -hmm. So if you want to work out and, you know, if you don't feel like it that day, you can always do it at home. You know, you, you could work out just smiling and laughing. You burn calories. Really? Yeah. Oh, then so, I should be really thin. Yeah. Because I laugh all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, and that's probably a good place to start because this is the time of year that folks start oh, getting yeah. new gym memberships. They always say the gym is packed in January. Yeah. But that's kind of like the road of good intentions. Yeah, like, so what, what happens, I'm going to be transparent with you. What happens is... Uh, a lot of people say, oh, I got a resolution. I want to lose this much some weight, or I want to work out every single day. Mm -hmm. That lasts about until February, until okay. Valentine's Day. All right. And then it fades out. Okay. You know, so it's teaching classes and, you know, training with people and everything. They're, they're gun ho about it, and then they burn out because they start off too strong. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, they have to find a happy medium of what they okay. have to do. So somebody once said to me, the best exercise is the one that you're going to do. Yep. So if you enjoy it, if, mm -hmm. if you find fun in it, if you enjoy the instructor, that also plays a big role. So you could go to a class and not enjoy the instructor, and then you're not going to want to keep going. Okay. But if you like the instructor, you're going to want to keep going to it. So then how do you pick a gym? Like I know uh, now, right now, you're involved in a new gym. Yes. It just opened in yes. the last couple of days in town. Talk, of, talk to me about that a little bit. So this new gym, it's in Lawrenceville. Mm -hmm. uh, it's right on McCandless Street, on Butler Street, right off of Butler Street. It's called Elevate Fusion Fitness. Elevate Fusion Fitness is an experience when you go in there. It's going to hit all of your senses. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in there, it's going to feel like your family. You're going to get greeted at the door. You're going to have a smell. You're going to see everything. So we have Salute Juicery in there also. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to get your taste. When you get into the actual studio of the Versa Climber, you'll be on this machine that looks intimidating, but it's uh, you're going to sweat. You're going to hear great music. You're going to feel that vibrations. You're and going that to... climber. That's the one where you're kind of exactly. doing like this. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's it's been around for years, and oh, really? now it's starting to uh, come back up to surface. Now, uh -huh. um, it's a 30-minute workout. Uh, we have speakers, so you're going to feel the music. You're going to hear the music. Your instructor's going to motivate you. It's it's definitely going to be a great experience. And then when you leave. You're going to feel elevated in your spirit, in your body. You're going to just feel elevated because you, all of your senses just got hit. All your senses just got hit. So how do you know? I mean, you can go to a place like this. You can go to, I mean, at one time there were like clubs that were just for women. They may still exist. I don't know. Yeah. Um, how do you, do you know what's right for you just by when you get there, it feels right? Yeah, it's like, it's just like dating, you know? Uh -uh. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> You know, you got to try it out, you know, you, you got to see what works for you, you know, and you could read much as you want, you could do much as you want, but you just got to pick and pride at what you like. You got to see what fits you. You could do spinning, you could do cardio, you could do elevate and do the Versa climber. I mean, you just got to find what you like. What you like. Now, the flip side of that is, as you mentioned earlier, you don't have to be at a gym. It doesn't have no. to be an organized process. Exactly. But you got to know what you're doing. Yeah, you, yeah. So you could either, um, someone like myself who has a side business that you could come to the house and train someone and uh -huh. you could have a trainer come to your house so you could work out in your PJs. Or you could download, uh, you know, many apps now that you could just 
push the app oh, to look at it. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a commercial break. Okay. When we come back, we're going to do some exercises that are appropriate for all ages, I'm yes. going to say. Yes. They go yes. from the yes. young to the old. <laughs> we're going to be joined by the young end. I'll be the old end. And we're just going to go through a couple of things that you can do at home, you can do on your own. Because sometimes if you haven't been working out, you got to kind of start slowly. And I'm guessing, I'll say this to you now, they always say check with your doctor before you start. Oh, yeah, definitely out. check with your doctor before you do any type of working out. Okay, all right. I don't know what I'm going to change into. I'll change my shoes for sure, but we're going to be right back, and we're going to work out on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show, so don't go away.